Hello to my new and old friends. Today we'll focus on the scripture Mark 1, 21 through 28. So let's start with a little survey. When I say um, the question, if the answer is A, I want you to pat yourself on the head. If the answer is B, I want you to pat yourself on your stomach. So let's take a little practice. My first question is, is a ladybug A, an insect, or B, a mammal? So what was your answer? I hope it was insect. So that's how it goes. So let's begin with our actual questions. So my first question is, who would you listen to about going to bed? Would it be A, your parents or your grandparents? Or would it be B, your neighbor? Okay. Our second question is, who should you listen to about doing your homework? Should it be A, your friend? Or B, whoever your teacher is? Our third question is, who should you listen to about staying healthy? Should it be A, your doctor, or B, the grocery clerk, cashier at the store? And for our last question, four, who should you listen to about fire safety? Should it be the veterinarian, or should it be the firefighter? Okay, so that was our survey. Let's go through the questions. For the first one about bedtime, what did you pick? If you picked A for your parents or grandparents, you were correct. Second question, who did you pick for who you should go to for your homework? Should it be your teacher, A, or whoever teaches you, or B, your friend? It should be your teacher or whoever teaches you in case you get homeschooled, correct? So what did you answer for three? Who should you go to about being healthy? Would it be A, the doctor, or B, the grocery clerk, cashier? Well, A, the doctor, I hope you picked. And for question four, who would you go to for fire safety? Would it be the veterinarian, or would it be the firefighter? Well, you should have tapped your stomach for B, the firefighter. Now, those weren't too hard, were they? Now, how did you decide about how you would pick somebody? Well, there are several ways we would decide. It might be someone who's older, who's experienced more, or in the case of the firefighter or the doctor, They've had more schooling and more testing, so they would know more about those things than somebody else. Now, is it always the person like that who you could go to for an answer? No, of course not. Maybe about doing your homework. Maybe your friend does know when your homework's due, but your teacher would know for sure when your homework was done, supposed to be due. So let's listen to the scripture for today, and let's see who the expert was in this scripture. Jesus went into a synagogue one day and began to teach to everyone there. This was one of the first times for him to ever preach, and no one knew who he was yet. But even though they didn't know who Jesus was, they knew they should be listening to him. The moment they heard him, they could tell there was something special about him. They even started to tell everyone they knew, so they could also learn from Jesus too. Wow, that must have been amazing to be there and be able to hear Jesus preaching. Wouldn't it have been? Well, unfortunately, none of us were alive 2,000 years ago, were we? So we weren't able to hear Jesus preach. But there are two ways that we can hear Jesus speak to us now. Do you think you can guess what they are? It's praying and the Bible. The Bible is full of thousands and thousands of words that Jesus spoke through stories and to all those that he met. Now that's a way to hear what Jesus has to say to us today. And also praying. We can do that anytime anywhere, 
and just listen for what Jesus has to say to us. So the best teachers are the ones who know what they're talking about. And Jesus is the one who knows the most about God's love. So let's listen to him. Okay, so for today's craft, you're going to need to print out the two sheets that were attached. You'll need some glue if you decide to attach it to a heavier piece of paper and some scissors and crayons or markers. So I have already covered, colored my first sheet here. So I'm gonna to start to cut that out. Now, like I said, you could attach it to a heavier piece of cardboard or paper so it'll last a little bit longer. And it says in the directions that you need a braid, which is like a little tack that you stick through the middle. But if you don't have that, I'll show you how I am going to use a little piece of a straw that would do the same job. All right, so I cut out the first part that says I am. And now the bottom piece is where we will spin to that shows all sorts of scriptures and sayings where Jesus is teaching us, just like we talked about in our story today, where teacher, where Jesus is forever the wonderful teacher. All right. So I have cut out my bottom part. And now, like I said, I'm going to glue it to a little heavier piece of paper so it lasts a little longer. But you don't have to do that. Or it could just be to a piece of cardboard, maybe a old cereal box that you cut out so that you have a little heavier piece of paper underneath. Okay, so now I'm going to cut around that so that it's a little sturdier. All right, and then either with a hole puncher or just the end of your scissors, you're going to poke a little hole into the middle. See, I poked a hole there into the middle, and then I'm going to poke one in the middle of this one that lines up with that hole. So that's why the hole puncher would work a little better if you had that. And then I am going to, since I didn't have the braid that it talks about in the directions, I'm just going to take a little piece of straw. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to stick it through the first hole. I guess I needed the hole a little bigger, huh? So let me make that a little bigger. All right. So through the first hole and then through the second hole. So my straw is sticking through there. All right, there we go. And see, as you can see, it's gonna line up so that when you spin it, you'll only see one scripture. So then you'll spin it around and wherever it lands, I hope you will look up that scripture like this one says Matthew, and you will find out why Jesus will be with you always. I hope you enjoy doing the craft and you enjoyed our story today. And I have another attachment of a story called The Dot, which I hope you will listen to because it's a wonderful story about how a teacher encourages a student in there to produce art and how then that student helps somebody else. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing together my new and old friends as we learn about how Jesus will always be the great teacher for us. Help us also to share what Jesus teaches us with others. Amen.